Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is your reading for the end of March. We're looking at the energies from March 21st until the 31st. Uh, so how do we prepare for April? I'm starting with the tarot right away and make sure to watch till the end. I'll give you a message from the universe with an oracle card. Okay. What does Sagittarius needs to know at the moment? What does Sag need to know? Oh, this one wants to come up at the moment. We have the Five of Swords in the reverse and the Seven of Swords in the reverse. Okay, Sag, you're changing your perspective about something. Definitely, you've been working on that for a while. Uh... It feels like you're changing your perspective about how you see yourself, you know, knowing that you are worth it, uh, understanding that you are good enough from a situation. To me, this feels really positive. It feels like you're slowly moving out of being uncomfortable in a situation. Uh, okay, yeah, definitely the judgment at the bottom of the deck, being at crossroad, you know, uh, moving on from an energy that wasn't serving you and almost at the end of a journey of a personal journey definitely because the swords are all about how our brain perceives a situation if some of you have been you know talking to someone psychiatrist psychologist you know or whatever meditating taking care of your mental health just know that the universe is noticing the work and you're improving fast you're improving fast, even if you don't know, even if people around you don't really notice, they're going to be starting to, they're going to start noticing because, yeah, you're doing the work. Tell me more about Sagittarius in this situation. Tell me more about Sagittarius in this situation. We have the Nine of Wands and the Four of Cups. You're finally ready to receive love. You're still on the defensive. You're still really careful with your boundaries. Uh, it feels like you cleared out a lot of people in your life. And maybe not physically, but emotionally. It, I'm seeing in my head literally <laughs> a list of people. And you're just like, you know, no, I'm done. I'm done with this person. Blocking your energy from people who aren't good for you. This is how I'm feeling this. You're definitely moving on. And seeing the Four of Cups in the reverse feels like this was what you needed to finally accept the love from someone. It does feel like an offer might come in and you're going to be ready to accept it. The devil at the bottom of the deck. I love the devil. It feels like freedom to me. You know, being able to explore your fantasies, uh, to be in tune with the thing that used to be addiction or used to be more negative for you. It feels like you're more balanced. You're like, I know how to, and this is just an example, of course, but you know, I know how to take one or two drinks and not get drunk, you know? It's like, I know how to accept love from a person. I know how to really see if, if this is real or not. Not just accepting love because I don't want to be alone. You're completely changing your perspective, Saj. Completely changing your perspective on how you receive, how you give love. Tell me more about this situation. Sorry. Page of Wands, definitely. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. You're moving on. You're moving on from something that wasn't serving you. You learned so much. It's crazy. Okay. I'm definitely talking to a Sag who's completely changed. You're getting your self-confidence back. Uh, maybe some of you are starting a project. It could be, you know, a YouTube channel, writing, anything that will make other people see you, you know? It's like you're finally becoming yourself again. 
Finally being optimistic about your future. You know, Sag, you guys are entrepreneurs. You guys are meant to be seen and heard. You know, it's not a coincidence that so many celebrities are Sag. It's like people need to see you, but you need to be on you know your best game and i think that you you're really getting there definitely some the person i'm talking to is learning so much closing a cycle uh getting help understanding that you don't have to carry all these freaking wands alone you know you can use the help from other people and it doesn't make you a weak person it makes you an intelligent person a rational person Tell me more about Sagittarius in this situation. I'm getting like excited. I'm sure, like it's crazy, okay. Okay, yeah, that's why I'm getting excited. What do I say? You know what you want, you're getting what you want. You understand that you are worth receiving love and also this dream that you have, you know, of maybe being known, making money, creating your own business, it's happening. Your biggest dream, you know, maybe you wanna buy a house, maybe you wanna create something, literally, it's happening. This is the wish card, you're getting your wish, your wish is being granted because you did the work. It's not like a, a magical thing that the universe is sending you, no. You did the work and now good things are coming to you. The Queen of Pentacles is a lot about fertility. Uh, you know, maybe maybe it relates with you, anything that goes with fertility. But fertility is also getting abundance by creating something. And I do feel like it came from you. It came from changing the inside, changing your point of view, your perspective. And now it's like your wish is being granted. Listen, Saj, something big is happening into your life. The bottom of the deck. I'm not fucking joking right now, Saj. What is this thing that you have in mind? What is this dream for your future? Why were you doing the work? What is the reason, you know, that thing in the back of your mind that you know you want so bad? That thing that maybe other people told you you were crazy to be dreaming like that, you know? You're not crazy. You're a Sag. You're getting what you want. Oh, this is so exciting. Yeah, you're willing to do the work. You're willing to put in the hours, the effort, the resources. You know, you're transform. Any aid in the tarot is a huge transformation. Well, you did that shit. Sag, you did that shit. Oh my God. Listen, I'm not fucking lying. I'm just so excited at the moment, Sagittarius. I'm sorry, but sometimes these readings, they get me crazy. The Empress. Fertility, abundance. How do you receive love? You know, finally knowing you're worth it. You are worth it and you're getting that cash, getting that love, getting that abundance. I'm sorry I sound like a cuckoo preacher right now, but fuck. I'm so proud of the Sag I'm talking to. It's someone who really learned how to control their thoughts, how to control their mind. I do feel like some of you started meditating, starting maybe working out their bodies. And it's like, I'm not gonna let my thoughts and my anxiety control my life anymore because I see the bigger picture, because I know what I, what I want and I'm getting it. Do I have an advice for Sagittarius? This is your advice, Virgo energy. Stay focused on your money, stay focused on your business, stay focused on your abundance. Make list, be rational, you know? Uh, create a schedule for yourself, 
for anything that is work related, you know? Cultivating that abundance, knowing that no one can do that shit but you. Knowing that you have something special to offer, you know? Not be waiting on others, not being waiting on confirmation. No, no, no. <laughs> this is boss ass bitch energy. This is a reading of someone who finally took control over their life. And because of that, you're getting whatever you want. Wow. I have chills. Look at this shit. The king of sword. You want stepping into your power? This is it. Your mind is clear now. You got rid of the shit. You got rid of people who weren't serving you. You're done playing around. Ooh, it does feel like someone kind of stepped in their next, the next chapter of their life, you know? Maybe you just celebrated a significant birthday also, you know? Turning 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, you know? A significant birthday being like, you know what? <laughs> it's clear now in my mind what I want. And I'm getting it. Listen, this is just going to go around and around and around. It feels like this reading is, is like, keep on being optimistic. Good job. You did exactly what you had to do. Let me see what the universe has for you, Sag. If anyone relates to this, let me know in the comments. I want to know who this reading was for. I want to know. I need to know because I feel so excited right now i have chills all over my body it feels like one of you is just going to become a star to be honest i know it sounds intense but okay the energy is getting momentum <laughs> what was i saying sagittarius i'm i'm feeling so much energy right now i'm shaking i'm excited i'm gonna have to go take a walk after this reading honestly Something started, something is getting more and more and more abundance. You're going to be seen. People are going to know who you are. People want to hear. They need to hear what you have to say. They need to see you. Keep on doing the work. Keep on working on your mind. Really important. And get that cash. Get that dream life that you are worth having definitely if some of you are like hopeful to maybe become someone famous or you know making a lot of money you have like big dreams you're getting that shit don't ever let anyone tell you that your dreams are too big or that you're crazy fuck these people honestly sag this reading gives just gives me so much hope for the future I am proud of you and the work you've done. Keep on doing the good work. Saj, thank you for watching. Please let me know if anyone related to this. Let me know who claims this reading. And I'll be talking to you guys soon for your April general reading. Okay, bye-bye, Saj.